Okay, today what we're going to do is continue some of the electrical stuff. We're going to see about mounting this outside box, a weatherproof box. We have 110 outside, right outside the door. I think somewhere right in there would be just about right. I think that would work right there. Let's get an ink pen or a pen, pencil and marker. This is where we need to cut our hose. Now I have a pencil. Let's take that off, turn that up like that. I think right there would be a good spot. Go ahead and mark inside where I want to. Drill my hole for the wire. I'll go ahead and mark the outside edge and the top of this thing so that I know exactly where it needs to be. You can kind of see where I marked it. I think that's a pretty good location. Try to drill a hole. I've made holes bigger and stuff with this bit, but I'm going to try to drill a complete hole with it. Whoa. It does real good. real good about cleaning the burrs off of the metal too. Wow. Don't need a deburr tool. Now I've got to put this dry tight sealant stuff that came with this so that I can seal that up. Now I'm putting a box on and we already have the hose through there. Put butyl tape behind it and I put wood on the inside to screw the screws into to pull it to. <laughs> And then I'll seal all around it with some silicone, some clear silicone too. That is tight right there. And you can see where I put a, a rubber grommet I made out of a hose where the wire will run from the inside to the outside up in there. There's the 110 outlet. And you can kind of see where it goes inside. And the wire kind of runs down through here. I've got to put a thing for the wire to go in the wall and go up and you can see where it goes up. And runs down the top of the wall. It comes down to where the fuse box is going to be, which is laying right there. And then we'll wire it into that. Right there's the fuse the breaker box with four breakers in it. And then I've got the wires that's going to run down here. There'll be some conduit coming down and then turn and go into the side of the breaker box. Then down there by the floor, right in there somewhere, shore power will come in and turn up and go right straight into the breaker box. Drill the hole right here for the short power. Now. There's the hole all the way through now. And we'll clean that decal off so that it will have a good seal. We'll clean that up, cut that off, and clean it off. So they'll have a good seal in there. 
see on the inside, it came all the way through. Then we'll mount the box right there and that tied into all the wires that are going up the wall. All of those wires. Came with a little thing of gasket on it, but I'm gonna put needle tape on it also. Once I get in there, I'll trim up around it. See where it's coming up, coming up into there. And I've got to wire it into there, but the box is mounted and it's sturdy. So that's good. Okay, there's the wire ran into the box. It's sticking out. That's for the 110, 120, whatever you want to call it. There's the bar it goes up and it makes a 90. And then Right here, we've secured the wires up in there where they're tight. We got a little more, but then out here, we got to run them across the ceiling where they're going to go. But we're working on that now, but we got to hook it up here, wire it all up. That's the shore power. And then there's the red, the blue wire coming down will be the wire that's going to, it's going to be the hot wire for the switches that work the 12 volt lights that's going to be overhead. It is a tight, there's room in there. It doesn't look like it, but there's room in there for the ground and it grounds, but well, it's hard to see, but it grounds back in there. So that's the ground coming in. And there's, there's room between it and the breakers. I'll stick my finger in there, it just doesn't look like it. But there's not much room in there. So that's the breaker. 
from the wire running up and then I'm gonna sort them out down through there and put them across across there wherever they go to the other side that's what it looks like with the cover on it looks pretty good there's the wires laid out where I need to run them across the ceiling beams I know, I'm using a ball peen hammer, but if you've ever made your hammer or anything else down, when you turn around you have no idea where it went, that's the case here. There's that wire. I know you can't ever see it because of that light in here, but that's the only light I've got I can use inside here. And it don't have to go down the wall far because that's for a TV to hang on the wall right there. This is going to go down the wall for the refrigerator. That's my sit. On the countertop, I think is what she said. And then I'm gonna run another one across over here that'll go down, that'll go down somewhere right in there. And uh, that'd be another faucet. I mean, not, not a faucet. That's a receptacle with a GFI around the sink and for the kitchen. Sorry for the noise, it started pouring down rain right here. And this wire I'm running right now is the one that I was talking about that goes over and runs down to the GFI receptacle, close to the sink. That's the way it's looking right now. That's a transformer to go to 12 volts. We can use it to juice up the lights until we get the batteries in the solar system again. So we'll just convert 120 to 12 right there. But that's all hooked up. We've got power inside there. Finally got our shore power cord in just a few minutes ago. And you can see where I've ran these wires. The 120, 110, whatever. They're over here where they're supposed to be. There's three of them. TV, refrigerator, and then an outlet on the counter. And then the rest of them on the side will all be 12 volt. The lot running down the center is 12. A water pump, 12. Exhaust fan in the ceiling, 12. And there'll be an exhaust fan for the bathroom shower area, and that's 12 volts. That's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you found something that will help you in your project. Please hit that like and subscribe button. Keep moving forward.